Welcome back to Bray. Let's try to restart the power in the station. What do you think we do from up there in the control room? But before that, let's just look around a little bit. Ah, can get the graph shaft up and going. Storage room. Before I was thinking there might be a boss fight here, this has really cinched it. I'm pretty sure there is some sort of a boss fight. I don't know if I need two of these things. So should I bother hacking both? Requesting new operator. Yeah, I guess so. Requesting new operator. Transcar Cobalt 410 Engineering Class Operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear. Oh, no. Ah, oh, crap. I don't think there's any way to back... No, you can't back out of that. Keep accidentally hacking turrets. <laughs> Excuse me. I have no idea where the enemies are actually going to be coming from. Or enemy. So I guess I'll just put them all over. No, you have an attitude problem. Please stand clear of aperture. I guess I'll fortify them too. I mean, I've got so many spare parts. I'm gonna put them all up front, because that's where I think I'm gonna be fighting. But I'll put these at a different angle. Just fortify that one. Now I've got two facing forwards, this one facing kinda this way. And then the other one facing the opposite way. Think that's it. Could throw these as explosives, I guess. I kind of wanted that to explode. <laughs> Just for the fun of it. Man, if only I had leverage, I could probably throw those in there. But I could just throw a grenade in there too, I suppose. I've never tried a grenade against the cystoid nests. I wonder if it would... I wonder if it would cause them to pop? I mean, it definitely would cause them to pop, but the question is, would it also kill the cystoids inside of it, or would they just pop? It would probably just trigger the pop. Alright, let's go into the control room. Yeah.
Yeah, look at all this. What are you prepping me for? Surprisingly touching music. Emergency procedures for the reactor. Safety control switches for all main utilities must be placed in the off position in the following order before initializing reactor shutdown. Okay, probably gonna need that. Let me save the game first just in case I blow everything up or something. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to press all these switches. Computer probably opens them. Access safety switches. Mm -hmm. What's with the music? Is the boss fight starting now? Alright. Magnetosphere substation power grid. Oh, wait, is it in order? Gravity. No, 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 it's not in order. The first three are in order. Magnetosphere, Substation, Power Grid, Voltaic, Rings. Then, Gravity, Life Support, Main Reactor. Oh, so it goes from here, here, and then from here, here. Turn gravity off. Well, um, there are those diverters that I have, but I'm sure I could just fix it. Come on, something's gonna come out, right? Warning. Reactor initialization I guess maybe later. Okay. Well, we got a radiation problem. Get them turrets! Get them turrets! Oh, maybe I should just take the diverters with me. They're right here. Well, I mean, I can't carry both. We'll see. Floating ball. Oh, I have radiation. Oh no, I don't have radiation poisoning. Not yet. Now radiation I do. Radiation poisoning detected. Seek medical attention. So 
Let's give me the radiation. Probably just the core itself, right? I'm assuming. That one's broken. Is it just the one? I think it might just be the one. Alright, let's just grab the part then. Ah, my flashlight keeps running out of power. Diverters on the freight lift as requested. I'm willing to send them down when convenient. Oh, did, did I stop her from docking? Or was it that it? Should be the top one, right? I've loaded the replacement reactor diverters on the freight lift as requested. I asked Connolly to send them down when convenient. Oh, that is it. Okay, um, I think that's it. Oh, shooting at something. I'm sure uh oh, <laughs> that turret just moved. Box, but seeing a lot of power spikes and leaks in the coolant chamber. Watch yourself on the way back. There could be other structural damage. Oh boy, those fortified turrets didn't well, do much, did they? I see. You reset everything. Talos one is wide open now. Clever, reckless, but clever. It's good to see some things haven't changed. I'm not going to get in your way anymore. You deserve to hear the truth. All of it. Come up to my office. Morgan, was that you? Whatever you did, I felt it in my gut. If this is some kind of payback... Power's coming back online. And that means the main lift too. I hope. Oh, hey. There you are. I think I'm just gonna ghost bust you. Satisfying. Now there's another one. There it is. Uh, if it doesn't show up as red over the reticle, that probably means it won't actually reach. I'm assuming. I think it's just too far away. Ah, uh, there's no use repairing those. Turrets are just terrible. Oh, shit! Tricky little bastard. Everything is. Well, there's that. That doesn't look good. Christ. Oh, shit. Wasn't looking at my health. 
Oh, didn't think I needed combat focus for that, but uh, I guess I should. Oh, we're back here. Alright, well, I think everybody's gonna talk at me while they're doing that. Let's go up. That did it. I'm showing power to the lift and the airlocks, but seeing a lot of power spikes and leaks in the coolant chamber. Watch yourself on the way back. There could be structural damage. Wow, I see. You reset everything. I'm just getting out of here. The last one is wide open now. Clever. Reckless, but clever. It's good to see some things haven't changed. I'm not gonna get in your way anymore. You deserve to hear the truth. All of it. Come up to my office. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. Morgan, was that you? Whatever you did, I felt it in my gut. If this is some kind of payback... <sighs> power's coming back online. <sighs> and that means the main lift, too. I System hope. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. I didn't see you there. So the airlocks are... Yeah, all the airlocks are open now. Cool. And everything else is open, too, which probably means new enemies everywhere, I'm assuming. Whoa. The hell was that? Warning. Dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all Hello. open flames or sparks again, until Dr. repairs Hill. can be made. Oh. So if I shoot a gun in there, we're all dead. Right? Warning. Dangerous level of I'm just gonna test it. Gas detected. Warning. Dangerous level of explosive <laughs> gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or My last chance chipset didn't work. Hello. Good to see you again, Dr. Yu. Warning. Dangerous So I could goo them, but Um Well wait, wouldn't their attacks like wouldn't their attacks tend to Cause it to explode too. Expl warning. Dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. So maybe I should just avoid them. I should probably just avoid them until we warning. get this repaired. Dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. Warning. Dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. Warning. Dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please e tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 33%. Okay, so two more to repair. Sounds like. Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 33%. Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 66%. What if the other one could be somewhere in here? Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 66%. Let me check in here. Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 66%. They might hear me, but that's fine. Tank 
Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 66%. Uh oh. Good, that didn't cause an explosion. Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 66%. Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced uh -huh. by 66%. Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 99.79%. Threat of explosive gas minimal. Normal operations may resume pending supervisor approval. Christ, where'd it go? All the way over there? Well, it seems to be stuck. Oh no, that was the one. Heard weird noises. <laughs> Goodbye. I have so much goo left still. Uh, this is back where I came from? Yes. I'm not really sure where I want to go. Probably not here. Where's like the main way out of here? How did I get into this place? Like, originally. I know it just came from there, but like, when I first visited this place... Where did I come from? Up there? Oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh! I wonder if that coffee cup broke. I'm curious. It didn't. Impressive. I love breaking glass so much. Okay, so I know I've never gone into here. Let's go check it out. 
Okay, how do I get in here without getting shocked to death? Well, that didn't work. <laughs> ah, disables my gun. How? I'm gonna use a medkit. Oh, come on. And that's all electric... Electrified water down there. Is there something I can hit from here? I see a computer over there. I see a computer panel. Oh, it's just got emails. No utilities. Something saw me. So I could shoot darts through here, but I don't see anything to hit. Can I repair it through the wall? <laughs> Could I goo it through the wall? Uh... Can this go through here at all? No, I won't even go through. Hmm. I think my best bet might be just to run past it. Yeah, alright. Whoa! Alright. Where are you at? Vital signs critical. Shit. Where the hell is it? Okay, maybe... Maybe let's try a type in lore. I guess it didn't work. Well, I mean, it stopped attacking me at least. Just gonna hide here, I guess. Matthew, I have a, a hypothetical question for you. Come on, Manny. Just be upfront with me. I've seen you checking out my caboose in these trans star uniforms. If you want to ask me out, just no, I do not. This is serious. No, serious and hypothetical. Well, shit, I'm listening now. Let's say you discovered something incredibly treacherous. Life-threatening, something everyone ought to know about. I don't know. Send an email? Call security? But, but, you needed to do it anonymously. Well, oh, shit, Manny, what did you do? I didn't do anything. Not yet. Okay, well, uh, as long as we're talking hypothetical, I guess I'd EVA my ass out to that orbiting billboard and flash it as big as Vegas on the screen. Not a bad idea. Thank you, Matthew. 
And for the record, your bottom looks frumpy. <laughs> Whatever. Engineering control systems. There's a metaphor here, you know. Typically, the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output, the reference signal. I feel like I've read this. Yeah, I've already read that. Uh, the escape pods and manual. Looks like I sent an email to you by accident. Just ignore it, please. Also, what I wrote in the email was just a joke. I was pranking someone. Frank, Shuttle Bay Engineer. Uh, <laughs> that was not a prank. Manuel, I'm not supposed to tell anyone about this, but I wanted you to know that there... I wanted you to know, since you're someone I really care about, the escape pods don't work. If there's ever an emergency on the station, don't try to use them. However, I'm working on rigging one of them to work, and don't tell anyone. Duncan. Um, shit, Connolly, I think Duncan's really pissed this time. Did you have to humiliate him like that? His operator was already as good as done. If he takes this to Brooks... We could all end up in the can. Can't you two just kiss and make up? Ew, with Krasikov? Come on, man, you know I only have eyes for you. Besides, there's no way Krasikov's blowing the whistle on Battle Ops. He helped start it too, remember? He'd go down with the rest of us. I think he's more of a petty revenge kind of a guy anyway. Give him a week. I bet he gets over it. Okay, where the hell is all this electricity coming from? I'm not sure what to do to stop it. I think I need to just get to the other side over there. I might be able to drift over there. Where'd they go? There you are. Ah. Sneaky bastard. There's Krasigoff. Duncan, access code to part storage changed last shift. We had a short, so security came up and reset. Oh, sure. Thank you. Hey, maybe it's not my place, but... What? Spit it out. Well, it's just that there was a minor leak, and, uh... I, I told Connolly we should wait for new parts, but, uh... Duncan! I don't give a shit about your pissing contest with Connolly. Take it to Brooks. Code's embedded in this message. MLA Championship. The Mechanized Athlete League Championship Series has come to an exciting close in Transstars Combat Park, Nevada. The Japanese team operating Lightning Kaiju pulled out a stunning victory over the heavily favored Crimson Mace from Norway. Crimson Mace had the match firmly in hand from the start. While lacking in maneuverability, its capacitors absorbed wild amounts of energy from its opponent and used them to power magnetic shields, creating a feedback loop that Kaiju struggled to counter. Solid blows landed at the 2 minute and 3.30 minute mark by Crimson sent the Japanese machine into a tailspin each time. 
Coverage of the event was briefly interrupted when a surprise electromagnetic pulse by lightning kaiju disrupted Karamos while also blinding its opponent. Kaiju then finished a helpless Crimson Mace with its signature killstroke plasma beam. The finals were viewed in almost 90 million households worldwide, making it the most watched event in MLA history. Sorry, I keep saying MLA, like the paper format. M-A-L, not M-L-A. Not writing a college essay here. Get out of here. Shipment ready? Um. Uh, Connolly, got your case of operator parts ready to go. I put all the spare junk I could scrounge out of the machine shop in there. It's in the usual spot. Just remember, I deal. I get a forty percent cut on any prize money or operator. Did you seriously call it soft shell? Pulls in. P.S. I also threw in that glue gun you asked for yesterday. You're unofficial guinea pig, so let me know how it works out. Uh, three things. It was a thirty-five percent cut, and you know it. Softshell is a magnificent name, and thanks. Screw that, I would have asked for 75% if I knew you were going to name it something so stupid. Sweet to test. Hey Maddie, how localized is gravity generation? Is there any chance my private quarters could go without it from, say, 1800 to 2100 hours tonight? <laughs> Shit, no. <laughs> Hey, Matty, I'm having some issues with my transcribe. I think I dropped it or something. I know you have the hookup with the guys in engineering. Think you'd help me get it fixed? Or better not run this kind of thing by Danielle. No response means yes, right? Dome Taker. Hey, Matty, Dome Taker 3 pilgrimage to the oddarchy of the domed. Um... Arrive with my last care package. All the caves are procedurally generated, and there's even multiplayer. I know you want a copy. You're gonna break your transcribe playing that crap again. <laughs> nah. And then they break their transcribe. Thought there'd be a control panel here to turn off the power or something. Anything up here? Is there anything I can do in here? I don't know, it doesn't really look like it. it. Just seems like an oddly dangerous place for something that really doesn't have much. We can turn off the power here. Ah, no. Talia, I'm sure you read the report about... Illusion's office. Just wanted to let you know that the maintenance request for the office was handled in a less than suitable manner. I'd be happy to go over it in detail. Duncan, I don't know what kind of issue you have with Connolly, but you better get over it quick because I'm sick of hearing you bitching about it. Contrary to popular belief, ass kissing will not get you on my good side. Speak to Connolly about the maintenance job. Unauthorized tech. Holly, I'm not really comfortable bringing this up, but I feel it'd be irresponsible not to mention it. I have reason to believe Connolly has been borrowing some of the experimental tech from hardware without authorization. Just thought you should know. Noted. I see those over there. I, 
feel like I must be missing some way to turn off the power. Ow. Wow, that hurt really quick. Eat all the food. Oh. Oh, they have nothing in them. Shit. I guess that's it. Life support's looking different, huh? You came back in from outside, huh? Fixed elevators. Thank you. Now I can move free. You, not so much. You are in life support. A drug there, I think. Heel tanks. Where your trust our food comes from. Chopped up and made new colors. Connected to septic system. A job there too, I think. I did not listen to what he said. Which is kind of a problem, because I still need to find him. Okay, so let's do some side quests. Let's see, there's one in particular I wanted to do before I realized that I was locked in and couldn't really go anywhere without dealing with the power problem. What was it? Oh, right, it was to go back to the crew quarters and look for Nicole. Let's go do that. Okay, looks like there's going to be a lot of new enemies and stuff along the way, so I'm not going to cut before I get there. Even though we're going through old areas. Oh, that's not going to work. Going to really get to exercise my combat powers, it's looking like. How am I- oh, I'm getting a call. How am I looking on narrow mods? 10. Okay, let's finally take Toughness 3. Gives me 300 health instead of 200. Morgan, this is Dr. Igwe. I've made it to your office. Igwe, what are you doing here? How did you survive? Chief Illusion. Well, I- Dr. Igwe. My word. What is that? Is- is that you, Morgan? Hardly. This is January. 
Morgan's attempt at having a conscience. But as per usual, it's only evidence of her ego. There's a number of responses I could make to this, Chief Illusion. But we are pressed for time, and Dr. Igwe is already showing signs of anxiety and disorientation. Fine, make yourself useful, Igwe. Stand watch and keep away from the fabricator. Yes, Chief Illusion. And, uh, January. There's a lot of people waiting for me in my office now. And I can't get in there even though I got rid of the arming device. Haven't I been in there before? I feel like I have. I'm not sure. It's fine. Alright, the lobby. I'm <laughs> there's so much room in the lobby. I'm sure there's a lot of things here. And I could go to my office. But I'm worried about the Michaela thing. I don't think that's going to go so well. Now let's go to crew quarters first. We had an uneventful elevator ride to the Arboretum, which is taking me closer to where I need to go for the quest, and now we're receiving a call. I'm sending you the code to my graph shaft. Assuming it still works. Oh right, because this is where Alex's office is. Well, I'm not going there. Where the hell do the body chunks go? I want to loot them. Hm. Okay, where are we going? Welcome. Maybe I can help you. All right, crew quarters. Oh, new enemy up there. Morgan, Dr. Igwe, are you approaching the crew facilities? If so, this is a sentimental request, but my collection, the gallery of photos the others used to laugh at, each picture is a decryption key to a set of neural data, connectomes, the guests who came to the station. Among them, Leitner, the pianist, is, is dead now. We can't let those skills be lost. It's all that's left of them. Please, Morgan, if you can, I would be grateful. I'm sending you an audio file that will open this safe in my room. You can play it with your transcribe. Yeah, you got it, Digwe. Just do a quick look over for any enemies. Oh, something saw me. How do I... How do I move it? Oh, I guess I open it just by playing it with my transcript. Um... Is that an audio log? Yeah.
cool. Integral structure. What is that? What is it under? Oh yeah. One of the chipsets. Your suit is more resistant to environmental hazards that degrade its integrity. Oh, neat. I think I'm pretty good with my chips though. Concerto Leitner played. It was the first time Maya heard him, and we were both. I felt small in the light of his skill. I can play it now too, thanks to a neuromod, but only in my head. You used a guest neuromod? I copied their neuroscans and hid the data on my transcribe. Fabricated my own mods. I am not proud of the act. Now, I'm glad I did. Okay, so... Do I still have quest enabled for this? Yeah. Right, so we don't actually know where they are, so that's why there's no specific location. What information do, they, do we have on them? Security Officer Kevin Haig asked me to watch out for his missing wife, Nicole. She went to retrieve a wedding ring when the chaos started. Huh. Oh, I could use a security station to track her down if I have trouble. She went to retrieve a wedding ring from where? So we're looking for... Probably Hog's place. They're not over there. Also not over there? Hmm. Where's the security station? I think here? Oh, fuck. Okay, Nicole Hogg. Ah, oh, found her. Nicole Hogg. Atoms for engineer under life support. Let's go see. Oh, I think... Oh, there we go. Moving? Oh. I think that's in the executive suites. Sorry. Well, that's two quests done. I think we're I think we're also supposed to do something here with Abigail's maps, the treasure maps. Let me take a look at that. Actually, I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to see if I can do the whole treasure map thing, and then probably move on to some other side quests.